Hi, I'm here in City Hall with Colbert Ranger, the Mayor's Transport Advisor and born and bred West Londoner. And we're talking about transport infrastructure, West London, regeneration, crossrail. And I want to get your thoughts on uh, what's been happening in West London in terms of transport infrastructure and why um, some of the heritage when it comes to film and cinema is still so important. Well, yes, as you were saying, I'm born and bred in West London, uh, but it's been an amazing time, and it is an amazing time for West London in terms of transport, because there's so many exciting things happening. Uh, we've got the in investment in the tube upgrades, which will improve the Central Line, eventually the Piccadilly Line, and also the District and Circle, which will see new trains coming onto there. But fundamentally, there's other things happening. We have seen this explosion in cycling, especially in West London. And then last year, we had the Mayor of London Skyride in Ealing, which almost 15,000 people came round and rode around their borough and saw what it felt like to travel on the cleanest, greenest form of transport. But fundamentally, we've also got the biggest transport project in Europe, Crossrail, being developed in London. And Crossrail will develop four new stations in the borough of Ealing. So what does all this mean to the cultural side of Ealing? Well, it means that more people will be able to travel to and from Ealing, but also they'll want to have things that they can go to and see and shop at. But fundamentally, this fantastic old cinema that's been in Ealing Broadway for donkey's years, and I personally remember going to see from when I was a wee lad till uh, when I grew up and watched amazing films there, including the first Batman film and I think Shirley Valentine and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. My sister and I spent many an hour, lovely, a lovely time watching films there. And it's one of the huge draws to a town centre, especially one like Ealing Broadway, which does have a catchment area that's very large. Fantastic. So there's, there's, you know, obviously so much investment, both in terms of infrastructure, uh, passion, people really knowing West London for what it's for and, um, you know, being um, quite an important hub for both the community and Londoners at large. So um, and it's great to hear how passionate you are about the cinema and, and Ealing is known for film. So just a final couple of words, I guess, for, you know, um, there's a lot of community uh, engagement, big society, people coming together to help save the cinema. What's your message to, um, uh, you know, the developers who are uh, dragging their feet in bringing this amazing cinema back to life? Well, this is an amazing cinema. It's a landmark cinema. It's Art Deco cinema. It means a lot to not just the people of Ealing, the Queen of the Suburbs, but the people of West London, where there is a dearth of cinemas. It means a great deal nationally. It means an immense amount to me personally. But I think it'll mean an immense amount to every single person who has memories of watching films there in their youth and throughout their life but also we want to preserve that for the future. So young people, old people, everybody who will come to Ealing in the future because of the wonderful transport links, because of the wonderful area it is, they will be able to enjoy this fantastic piece of history both now and in the future. That's perfect. Thank you so much, Kovay. Much appreciated.